As the show has been going on and progressing, you've seen less and less of the kids and the drama and the fights have been getting bigger and bigger and worse and worse, right? So when the fights and the arguments and the drama started getting bad, Robin kind of pulled her kids and herself away a little bit to protect them. She didn't want all of, she didn't want them to be affected. Um, and I, that same thing happened with my mom and her kids and Janelle and all of the moms kind of pulled their kids back a little bit because they didn't want them to get so negatively affected. friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, September 28th, 2023. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I just did a video about Mary Brown dumping Robin and her reaction to that and Robin basically saying she's selfish and whatever. But I want to talk about something that McKelsey said on her Patreon that I'm sharing with you because I was kind of shocked by this. We have talked on this channel for a very long time now about Robin not having her kids on the show and never filming inside. We just saw her go inside Mary's house, but cameras are rarely ever involved or allowed at her house, ever. Well, according to McKelty, the parents of the children, and I'm not just talking about Christine, I'm talking about Robin, Janelle, and Mary, according to McKelty, all recognize that the show has become detrimental to their kids, and apparently Robin, decided to pull her kids out and not have them featured as much on the show. And that's why they don't go to her house very often because according to McKelty, and this could be the excuse that Robin's giving McKelty, but it could be the truth. Robin doesn't want to film and have the kids involved in the mess that's on television right now because she's concerned about the lasting impacts of this on the kids. So if somebody knows, a parent knows that a show is damaging their family and could be detrimental to their family, instead of getting off the show, they just pull back. So that's why Robin doesn't get to have a storyline. Robin gets to be saved from the storylines and she doesn't have to be on as much and we don't have to see her dark side because it's detrimental. Now McKelty says all of them pulled back, but the rest of the women have had to work this entire time. I don't believe they've had to pull back. The rest of them have adult children that don't have to film if they don't want. So I wanna share with you just a few pieces of information that McKelty shared, and it just proves to me more of the favoritism of this is why Robin doesn't have to have a storyline because Robin doesn't wanna have damage to her reputation and damage to her children. Check it out. And because of that, what you see and what is showcased is mainly the drama and the downsides of polygamy. Whereas at the beginning of the show is all the upsides and the happiness of polygamy. When you take the drama away from the show, Robin is actually a really cool, authentic, loving person. But the show doesn't showcase that because that's just not entertaining. Um, but that's also, I mean, they don't film a lot of the family stuff at home anymore. So the show doesn't really get access to that anyway. If they filmed a lot more of the family stuff, which they don't do, then you, I think it would be, you'd see a lot more of the authentic loving Robin. McKelty's one of the only kids in the family that likes Robin other than her own. And so she has rose cut colored glasses about Robin just because of their relationship when she was younger. So I'm going to just give her some grace there, but all I heard her say basically was that Robin doesn't want to have the kids on the show because of the drama. Now, if you remove the drama, you would see the kids and everything would be great. But the thing is, is there isn't a family anymore. So they can't film the family anymore because there isn't one. The reason why it's dramatic right now and the reason why this is happening is because the other three women finally woke up and were like, this isn't a family anymore. So they can't do family get togethers anymore because they're not a family. And when they have the opportunity to have family get togethers, Robin refuses to let people 
into her house. Robin said it wasn't safe to have the kids at her house for Christmas. And she didn't think it would be a good thing for the, you know, there to be a fight. All of this revolves around the show because it's going to get filmed. So she doesn't want to expose her kids to fights and she doesn't want to expose her kids to all of these things. But yet Cody has the rest of the family's kids involved in this drama. He has made Garrison and Gabriel center. He has smeared these two boys and just run them through the coals. Robin has manipulated and pretended like nothing is happening here she's and like she didn't have a full part in what happened with garrison and gabriel and it's like so she was worried about her kids but she's not worried about the boys getting brought up she's not worried about gwendolyn or christine's kids getting involved in this she's not involved and doesn't care about any of that she only cares about her kids she doesn't care that cody's estranged from all of his kids she just wants to shield her kids Robin doesn't care about the family. Robin, since day one, has been obsessed with her image. In Becoming Sister Wives, in her last chapter about fame, she wrote about how she was the least popular sister wife. And she told producers that they couldn't put certain content out there that might make viewers dislike her more. And so she's been very cognizant the entire time they've been on the show about how she's viewed. And she cares about how she's viewed. This isn't about her kids. This is about Robin not wanting to have to do the work, not wanting to have to be a part of the drama, creating all of the drama, and then pretending like she needs to shield her kids from it when she brought her kids into this. She didn't have to go on to a reality show. The family was already involved in this, and then she came into the show, and then they were signing. They had been in talks with this network before, and she write about she wrote about that in the book. So Robin now suddenly has a conscience about her kids not in this. And there's other stuff in here where, you know, she McKelty talks about Cody and his relationships with the kids. The kids have him blocked. Check it out. I will say I know that some of my siblings have blocked him. So as much as he tries to reach out to some of them, and I won't say who, um, he can't necessarily always get through. So I know that that's probably part of it is as far as like reaching out and trying to reconcile with some of my siblings, it's not necessarily going to happen until some of my siblings are open to it. So imagine you're a kid of Cody's and you're not feeling good about being his kid and you're mad at him and you don't want to talk to him and you block him and your dad doesn't respect the block and just uses your your story for his show knowing full well that all of this back and forth about the boys don't talk to me and the boys just need to have a conversation with me and omitting the fact that the boys have blocked you the boys don't want to talk to you that you have hurt them so badly and mistreated them so terribly that they don't want to speak to you, but then you don't tell audiences that they've blocked you. Come on. I think those boys and any of the kids that have him blocked have every right to have him blocked. Cody has been disparaging and degrading and horrible. I mean, he's called uh, Garrison a narcissist. He has uh, accused his sons of getting their pencils wet or or trying to get their pencils wet. He has called them all kinds of names. Do you have any wonder? Is there any wonder why these boys, and I'm assuming those are the ones that have him blocked, would want to speak to him? Why would a child want to speak to them if their dad is on a television show telling major audiences that my sons only cared about getting their pencils wet or my son is a raging narcissist and he's just a little punk. I mean, the things that he has said about his sons is horrible. And so on the show, we're sitting here watching this fight play over and over and over again between the two of them. And I keep wondering why they just don't talk to the damn kids. And it's because the kids have him blocked. So this whole storyline is fake. They don't want to see him. They don't want to see their dad because their dad is treating them like crap. 
And Robin isn't on the show because Robin wants to shield herself from these storylines. And she doesn't want her kids to be involved in these storylines. So it was okay for Cody to railroad and be degrading and, and horrible to Janelle's sons and his sons, but he had issues with Dayton. Dayton didn't want to follow the COVID gu guidelines. And at no point in this entire season or the last several seasons has he had any disparaging comments about Dayton and when Aurora comes onto the show it's to get her ears pierced and to praise her as a good person because Robin only wants her kids to be viewed in positive lights so here's where the favoritism comes in you have Cody who is allowing his wife legal wife to not have to work. And then the rest of his concubines are being forced to work, not only being forced to work, but allowing their children to be humiliated on national television. Robin knows full well that this drama is damaging to the kids and she doesn't want her kids involved in it, but they've got a show to make. And so everyone else's kids are not off the table. And because Cody's mad at them, he'll do whatever he wants and say whatever he wants about them. But Robin's kids do not get the same treatment. If they ever have a fight, you'll never hear about it because Robin doesn't want that negativity of her family shown. So Robin gets to be viewed without knowing anything about her. So she's being protected by Cody and then he's using these other women for content to make a television show to make him rich. And then he's benefiting from all of this money. You know, in the same Patreon, and I'm not going to show you the clip, she says she re she wishes the family never would have done the show. Uh, she also said that while the show has given them some benefits, it's also done a lot of damage to the family. And that a lot of the reason why the kids don't want anything to do with the show is because they don't have a voice on the show. The show is about them the parents, and the parents filtering their perspective through their own lens. They don't care about the lens of the child. The producers don't care. And so McKelty said, I started this Patreon because I wanted to have my voice heard because I don't have a voice on that show. It's all about them and they don't care what we think. So she can go on her Patreon and share what she wants. And a lot of people give her a lot of crap because they're like, oh, she's pro Robin or she's pro Cody. There's sometimes that I watch McKelty's stuff and I actually feel a lot of empathy for her because I see a girl that just desperately wants the validation of a father and doesn't want to cut off the one person that was there for her during a tough time, Robin, and see that what Robin has done to the family has caused pain. And she's not ready yet to see that. So she says things about Robin that I don't agree with, but then she says other things that are very honest. And she'll say things like, Robin doesn't want to have her kids on the show, or my dad is blocked by these boys, or she even said in this Patreon from this week that she doesn't agree with what her dad did to Savannah, that her it was her dad's responsibility to call Savannah because Savannah was a 17-year-old, not and a minor, and that she said that Cody didn't get anyone else gifts except for the kids he saw on Christmas. So Savannah didn't get a gift ever. The other boys didn't get a gift. Any of the kids that he didn't see were not given gifts. He spoiled the hell out of Robin's kids, but nobody else got gifts. And he didn't make an effort to see them because they don't want to see him because the kids have been detrimentally hurt by this show. Logan won't even go on the show. McKelty has said that. Logan wants nothing to do with the show because it's damaging. Leon doesn't want to be on the show anymore. She has talked extensively about the numbers of siblings that she that refuse to go onto the show or if they go on the show they don't want to be involved in the drama and they just want to have their normal life. But like you're seeing Christine's kids will do stuff with her because Christine won't bring them into the drama. But Robin won't do a storyline. We know nothing about Robin. Have you ever thought about that? We don't know about her personal life. We don't know if she has friends. We don't know about what she does during the day. We don't know anything about her because she doesn't want to work, because she doesn't want to be damaged by the show, because she doesn't want viewers to know things about her, because if they knew things about her, they might like her less. It's just so disgusting. And I'm glad that McKelty has a voice, frankly, and I hope more of the kids have a voice. McKelty even said that she'd love to write a book with her siblings once the show is over. I think the way that this show has ruined this family and the kids have been just screaming to the public to be heard, this is something that needs to be heard. And it needs to be known that Robin 
doesn't is being protected is not having to work is not having to show a bad side of herself is only allowing good narratives for her kids and not allowing anything else but everyone else's kids can have, be run through the mud as long as it doesn't hurt Robin or her kids and everything can be run through the mud as long as Robin isn't the one that's being run through the mud but now she's getting run through the mud and she can't control that so this is just so I no wonder they're all fed up can you imagine Robin doesn't have to work even on the show and you're the ones that are having to pull the weight and then you're not seeing any of the equity from the show because Cody and Robin are spending all the money wouldn't you be leaving him too at this point I can't wait for one of them to write a book when the show is over about how the money was mismanaged. Now that would be a bestseller. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.